syphilis, syphilis, not syphilis, Kelly. <laughs> Let's brace them all on a Friday. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not well. My class is on, I'm gonna try to hold myself together. no reason I should be stopped but I need to pick something up and then you know I just want to browse I feel like I have been not getting many Target clothes and I was just thinking I used to find some really cute stuff at Target and is it just me they not have cute stuff anymore or have I just not been looking or does my store stink oh no oh let's go see what we can find shall we these these are the quest style chips in the spicy one hot and spicy i feel like they'll be really good i prefer their normal chip over the tortilla but i'm excited either way they don't have our normal coffee so i decided to try this one i think this is a local yeah chicago metropolis smells amazing it's got notes of citrus floral it's crisp it's delicate love it okay i was gonna grab a ow a not ow it's just cold a thing of the magic spoon cereal because i've been in this hyper fixation breakfast recently where it's like yogurt blueberries with some sort of cereal as like granola on top so i was gonna grab magic spoon because i see that they sell it at target now but then i saw this one and it was so much cheaper. <laughs> well, it's on sale for like five bucks. So I was like, heck yes. And it has 15 grams of protein in it for one serving. It's like keto. So, but it had the same amount of fat as the other one. The peanut butter one had 19 grams of protein. But this one's cinnamon. And I thought cinnamon, blueberries, yogurt, vanilla, yum. So we're going to try these when we get home. And then I fell in love with these the other day. Or like maybe like a month ago we got them. And um, we ate them so fast. I don't know where I heard about these, honestly. I think I was just randomly searching um, Halo Top ice cream and saw these. These are the favorite day, which is the Target brand. Ice cream, chocolate peanut butter, 24 grams of protein per container and only like 300 calories. What does it say? 350. And y'all, it tastes pretty good. Like, it tastes good in my opinion. Microwave it for like 15 seconds. I think me later. And then I got the cookie dough. I've had both of these flavors before. They're good. They have other ones as well. Um, 20 grams of protein, 370 calories. Mostly I got them for Scott to try because he's going to eat the entire bowl in one, or entire pint in one sitting. But I found them really good. I like them way better than Halo Top. Like, but I've never, I haven't tried the new Halo Top, which apparently is now creamier. So I can't speak to that. Oh my God, my heat is on and it's like <laughs> hot. Uh, I got another creamer. I just stock up when I'm here because we don't, they don't have it anywhere else. And then I also saw the Fairlife here is only like a couple cents more expensive than Aldi. And they have the skim milk one, which is only 80 calories for 13 grams of protein versus the regular, which is 120 for 13 grams of protein. Not that it really matters, but... 
I thought it would be less protein, but it's not. So I'm going to get my Fairlife from here from now on because it's like four cents cheaper at Aldi. That's it. So be aware of that. Like look at prices. If you think you're getting it Aldi, it doesn't mean it's the cheapest price. Just so you know. Um, but I love that creamer. I decided to try out a new Quest protein bar. I love the crispy. They're my favorite. The pecan, pecan, caramel is normally my favorite, but chocolate peanut butter is like, love it. And um, I decided to try this flavor today. Two of the Chobani flips in the Boston cream pie. They're my faves. And then, like I said, my hyperfixation breakfast has been these with blueberries and some sort of cereal on top. And it's just like so good and refreshing. And then I have a coffee. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll have something else. But I'm kind of over the eggs right now. So we're going to yogurt. And I like these. They're 20 grams of protein. And they're they keep my full and I like them so I'm not like counting calories or anything like that but I try to be like conscious of it I think I'm conscious just like without even thinking about it because I did count them a while ago um and yeah I'm just trying to you know just lean out a little for summer who doesn't want to lean out a little for summer you know you know so um i'm not focusing on really like cutting my calories i'm just focusing on amping up my protein which kind of if you ever feel like full on protein you know that feeling of like you're done that's like what i try to aim for because it like truly keeps me satiated and stops me from my like snacky tacky and so let's go home get this ice cream in the freezer make some breakfast and get to work well <laughs> i just was talking to myself for a solid 10 minutes without realizing that i wasn't recording it's cool so hello good morning happy friday i just dropped arlo off late it's like 9 20 i have a workout class and i'm faulty so i need a boot school and buggy um but i was just saying that I'm exhausted. I was like out of breath when I like started the camera because I lifted all the kids up to see the butterflies or like the caterpillars that had like cocooned. And so I always show Arlo and then all of them were asking like to see it as well. So I had to individually lift up all the kiddos to show them the butterfly or the, yeah, the little, I can't remember the name of it. Chrysophilus, syphilis, not syphilis, Kelly. <laughs> Anyway, we slept in, Arla slept through the night, which hallelujah. Um, so I switched my workout class to another bar class, which bar class is my favorite class. This is a different instructor um, than I've normally taken, but I love bar class. And I took it yesterday, so I'm probably signing myself up for death, but it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Um, and then I've got a big day of returning things. Um, I've gotta go to the mall. There's a couple things on my Amazon, or my Amazon, my Zara wish list that I'd like to check out and try out. And um, I need to exchange those shorts and then do a return at H&M. And then um, I need to return the Everlane shoes and sweater. I want to see if they can get it in a larger size. So that's my day. I've got lots of errands to get up to today. I figured I'd take you along on this day. And um, getting a little late start, but that's okay. So caffeine. <clears throat> we're gonna make it through and then I just saw next week is teacher appreciation week so I need to think about that as well um, mm. okay let's make it to this class and I will talk to you guys when I get out alright hello I'm done with my workout class and I grabbed a smoothie I like their peanut butter vegan smoothie. So I grabbed that um, to fuel me through all my errands. So let's, I need to run Amazon, but let's go to the mall first before it gets like too busy. I don't even want to be there. Even though it's kind of like out of the way. Let me look really quick. I just need to return one thing, right? Oh, I've got time. Okay, let's go, yeah, let's go to the mall because I, I don't want to be 
here forever. And then we can figure out what other errands we want to run. But it was more of like a um, true ballet. Whoa, over um, the other class that I take, which is so interesting because it's like not every class is exactly the same. The bar class that I take on Thursday is like, this lady is insanely just like so freaking intense. Like she's in the best way possible. She's probably like 50s and she is shredded. Like shredded like I've never seen before. Like she is shredded. And um, she looks amazing and she just is like, it never stops. Like you don't get a single second. This was much more tame and it was only 45 minutes, which I didn't realize. Um, but it was a lot of ballet, but she said she switches hers up every three weeks. So it might be a class that I continue to take because I really did like it. I hope I'm recording. I am, thankfully. Um, I really did like it. It was a little bit less intense. Like I think I only burned like, what did I burn? I don't even know. 240 calories, yeah. Not even the equivalent of the smoothie. <laughs> I don't care. Um, but it was nice and I really enjoyed it actually. More than I thought I would. So that was awesome. Um, and now let's go run some errands and see what we can find at Zara. I honestly typically hate Zara. Like I think their clothes are so cute, but it, I hate their sizing more than anything in this entire world. I also hate that I'm wearing freaking leggings to go to try on clothes like sweatpants. <laughs> oh, well. oh, it's my dream car. Not dream, but I really want a Bronco, I think, next. Oh, wow. Let's do it. I'll take you with me to the dressing room and you can see my channel. I have a list of things that I've seen on the website that I want, but you know, like we gotta see if it's really what it needs to be. Is this the mall road? I think I can just go straight. I mean, it's called Woodfield Road, I'm assuming. Is it on that side? Nope, it's on this side. Cool. All right. Let's brace them all on a Friday. need to run to FedEx to return my Madewell stuff, my happy return, and then we're good. I got um, only one thing at Zara because the other two, or the shorts, they didn't have my size. And I tried on the other one and I couldn't get it over my butt. So yeah, I tried the 36. I don't know, their sizing is so confusing. I say this all the time, but it really is. So. Then I went and, oh, I went to H&M. And I got those same, let me just show you really quick. Oh. Back up. Okay, I got these little sandals, which I thought are so freaking cute when I saw them. They're like chunky, but lightweight and just cute little slides. Oh, and brown as well. And then the white linen shorts that I got last time that I'm obsessed with, I got them in black. Um, because... I really don't own or wear a ton of black, and honestly, I love black. But now I'm like, I need a linen top to go with that linen. Do you though, Kelly? No. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I think I can wear it with like any sort of, oh, like button downs, which Lord knows I have a ton. And then I also, <laughs> also placed an order online, which my package will be here today, for just a blue striped 
button down. It's a different, hear me out, it's different than what I have. And then a little hat. So that's arriving today. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm gonna order those shorts on Zara. And then there was a red and white striped shirt I want. I love button downs, I just can't. And I'm just gonna buy as many as I want until I'm satisfied. <laughs> I wear them so it's really not ever a waste for me because I wear all my button downs. I put on this, um, cause I filmed a, my camera is really shaky. I filmed a video, um, like a spring lookbook and I tried on this blue and white, girl, where are you going? Tried on this blue and white striped shirt that I've had since 2014, so almost 10 years from Abercrombie. And I still wear it. Like when I'm telling you, button downs are classic and never go out of style. And if you like them, wear them all the time. I mean, you should like wear whatever you like all the time, but I'm obsessed. And I think button downs are having their moment. So let's go to the FedEx location, drop off the stuff, and then we will home. Oh, I need coffee, because we already don't have coffee at home. So I'm gonna treat myself to a little Dunkin' Donuts, because I definitely can tell that I haven't had coffee today. I mean, as if the uh, pre-workout didn't count. It's, it didn't count, it doesn't count. Should I run over and grab some fish from Whole Foods? Should I do that? I should do that, huh? I should go and do that. Let me call Scotchla. Even though he drove me nuts this morning, I still love him. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Are you at home? Uh, yes. Why? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. What kind of fish you wanna cook for dinner tonight? You want red snapper? Yeah. Okay, what kind of veggies? All right, just got out of Whole Foods and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not well. My class is on, I'm gonna try to hold myself together. Um, you guys know my plant in my um, like stairwell is, is dying. That's not why I'm crying, okay? It's just a plant, but before I used to ever buy plants, I would always call my mom and ask her, you know, about plants because she really knew so much about plants and I can't get out of that way. And um, which plants, I know you can look all that stuff up online, about which plants do better in low light and so on and so forth, but oh my god, I took a really <laughs> a long way around. Um, it doesn't get easier. <sighs> oh, it doesn't get easier. <sighs> um, and with Mother's Day right around the corner, I'm kind of, kind of feeling sad. okay it's normal I really haven't cried about it in a while and it doesn't get any easier when I do though <sighs> so oh gosh okay I gotta pull it together because I still got some errands to run but All I can say is that like, if you have a good relationship with your parents, because I'm not gonna say you should or whatever. If you do and your mom or your dad are a good cook or they are good with plants or they're good with building stuff or whatever it is, like, and you're older, call them and ask them, even if you know, even if you can look it up, because you have no idea. how you'll feel when you can't and and I know my parents always appreciate what I do so it feels nice to feel like that you still need want their opinion things like that and 
and they cry like that, it just like really just really affects my life. But I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just kind of what it is. But I'm hoping I can slightly recover from my sadness. I know it's crap. Um. Heck's going on up there? Normally they're fast here. But I like to, it only, I honestly like those moments, they come and they go pretty quickly um, because as soon as I see or find myself feeling like that, I find that I see a sign pretty quickly or I feel like I see a sign and all the white leaves or flowers are falling off the trees and they're all like kind of swirling around and it just, I look at that sign and I'm like, I know you're here, mom. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just do. And um, things like that, whether it's me trying to get over it quicker, whether it's me, whatever it is, it, it works for me. And so I just like to share those moments because I never want anyone to think like, I don't know, that you're alone if you feel that way. And I mean, I share tips and tricks and random things about my day every time. And so when I'm having a sad moment, like my moment of not, of wanting to call my mom for that plant in Whole Foods, you know, I accepted it, I felt it. And then I looked for a sign that I feel like she's here. And um, yeah, it feels good. So, <laughs> you know, that's part of me processing through this and that's how I, I process through. I've learned process through there's so many techniques and obviously if you're really struggling do what I did and get into therapy because it's really really beneficial but um but if you haven't yet or whatever even if you have sometimes it's nice to have a little reminder of like it's okay take a deep breath and look for a sign because they're always here they're always here um anyway Let's get this coffee, get us back to life. I have so much editing to do today that I completely forgot about. Um, and then I'd like to go for a walk later because it's 65 degrees out. Your girl is gonna be outside for the rest of life, even though I have allergies. I've started taking an allergy pill every day because I'm over it. Thank you, have a great day. Okay, Scott's on a call, but I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. Whole red snapper, blueberries, some pork chorizo, but Topo Chico. I've never seen Topo Chico in Illinois, so I got two limes. I love the grapefruit, but I got two limes. I got two more. I got four limes. Um, Scott wants shimeji mushrooms for dinner tonight, so I got those. I love this pineapple mango salsa. So good. Limes, jalapenos, fresnos. Some of these I thought Arlo would like for the summer. Cilantro fresh loaf of sourdough bread. I had them cut it. Those are the Topo Chico's. These spiced El Ranchero tortilla chips to go with that. These just look so good. Thai curry cashews, coconut milk for tonight, curry for tonight, and then I'm sorry, how freaking good. Jenny's ice cream, they're my favorite. This is the Boston cream pie, which is also my favorite donut. Salted vanilla custard layered with yellow cake pieces and the darkest chocolate fudge good night and an eggplant that's it